Hi guys, it's Greg from 7.4 Running. Thank you for tuning in to my very first race review video, which is the Grand Western Canal 10K from Tiverton to Stanford Peveril. So firstly, sign up. That was very easy. I was tagged in a post on Facebook. From there, I could then go onto the organizer's website which I could find all the information about the race. And then from there, I was able to purchase a ticket from Eventbrite, which was really easy to do. Um, that was all signed up. Race day info was sent to me two weeks before the event, everything I needed to know. Also, with this being a one-way event, they gave me the option of buying a shuttle bus back. But luckily, I was with my family, so they managed to go from the start line to the finish to meet me there with my bag. On the day, registration was very easy. With the emails we got through from the organizers, we had our desk to collect our numbers assigned to us and our race number so we could quickly go up, collect the number, saving the great big long queues that you do get at some events. Listed outside of registration was the wave times. Because it was quite a tight start, they were letting 35 runners go at a time. I was race number five, which did seem quite daunting because I thought I was going to be in with all the really fast runners. Being an average runner, I didn't really mind, but it turns out it was just purely done on the time you signed up for the event. Race numbers were quite cool. There's mine, race number five. Nice picture of the canal. I do use the event clips, so it was great to see that these numbers already had the holes punched in them. The bag drop wasn't overly apparent, it just seemed like someone boot the car with a cardboard sign saying bag drop, it did seem like you might be taking a risk, you didn't know whose car it was going in. It's probably 100% legitimate, but when you just see a cardboard sign saying bag drop here at one pound, you do think, is this going to go to the end or is someone going to run off my bag? Obviously that wouldn't have happened, but you just, you're never sure. The course was pancake flat right along the canal. There was markers every kilometre, so it's easy to judge where you were. There's plenty of marshals on the course. Uh, basically, there is a lot of bridges who had a marshal either side of the bridge to make sure you didn't collide with any cyclists or pedestrians. There was plenty of water stations, and every water station had jelly babies as well, which is great. And fortunately, the course was 800 metres or half a kilometre longer than it should have been. On a hot day, when you are really looking forward to the end and you're trying to pace yourself for that last kilometre, having to run an extra few minutes can be quite difficult. But overall, I'd rather it be slightly longer than shorter. Sometimes the course does run up short, you do feel a bit cheated. So no real complaints on that. It, it was still great. The finish line was at Stanford Peveril Cricket Club, which was a nice place to finish the event. We ascended some steps off of the canal, turned in through a gate and straight across the finish line. They could have done with putting the finish line another 50 metres down the field, I think, because people would like to nice sprint finish in. As you came through the gate, you're pretty much just crossing the line there. But when you do cross the line, you've got absolutely brilliant meadow. It's actually one of my favourite meadows, if I can get a zoom in on that one. So it's a bespoke meadow, which is nice to see. The date is on it and the event, so in 20 years time when I am looking back, I will be able to remember exactly where I've earned this one. At the end of the event, there was a family fun day, which was brilliant, which enabled my wife and daughter to come up. At the fun day, they had a barbecue, they had a band on, they had plenty of stalls. My daughter loves the Minions and Peppa Pig, and they had the characters walking around, which was absolutely brilliant. Well, we just loved the whole day and the event. I highly recommend this event to anyone looking to run a 10K, whether you're chasing a PB or you're looking to run your very first ever 10k due to the absolute pancake flat elevation of the event. Thank you for tuning in to my first ever race review video. Please subscribe to the channel 7.4 Running. Also, I am on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So if you can share 
anything you see on there, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm now off to start pinning my race numbers onto the wall behind me. Thank you and happy running guys.